Hello everybody, Dean Hansen here. Um, as you can see, it's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, but I just figured out how to solve an issue that I've had with Wirecast, and I figure I'll share that with you. Um, the issue I've had with Wirecast is if you are using the free version or the $10 version, you can only add in one live input, which means you can only add in one camera. Um, I've found a little workaround where I can add in two cameras without upgrading to the $300 plan. And this works pretty well. Um, it might not be exactly ideal. You still cannot layer video on top of video like I'm doing with ScreenFlow right now. But you can add in another live camera. And let's get started. I'll just show you how to do it right away. Um, so let's open up Wirecast here and you can see I have the free version I don't want to buy anything here so what we're gonna want to do is you can see that we have the blank shot and then we have oh, we're gonna get some feedback let's get rid of that feedback right away alright so we have the the camera one which is that camera there um, <clears throat> I would also like to add in another camera and the problem is if you have the free version when you try to add in that camera it will bring that camera to in but it will not allow you to have both cameras running at the same time um, it'll automatically switch you over to camera two and everything every video input you have will switch to that one camera so we want to have two separate camera inputs so here's what we're going to do so what you need to do is you need to go to the app store and download Dwayne cam now any camera app will work this is free um, but basically what it does is it just shows your webcam so I've selected with Dwayne cam and you could do this with photo booth but Dwayne cams really clean there's no extra graphics or anything involved so you can select which camera you want with Dwayne Cam, so that's camera one, the camera we already have inputted into the software, but we want to put camera two, which is this camera over here. We want to add camera two into the software. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of trick, um, it, we're going to tell Wirecast that we're not adding in another camera, we're adding in another window or display which it lets you add multiple displays or windows in it won't let you add in another camera but it will let you add in a display so what we're going to do is instead of coming over here and adding in a camera we're going to add in a window and then we're going to select this Dwayne cam as the window we want to add in <laughs> so let's say we come over here you hit display um, new local dis display presenter we're going to come up here, and we don't want to do our whole monitor. You can see my entire monitor there. We could add that in, but we're going to click Window. And then we're going to select the window that we want to add in. We don't want the dock. We want the Dwayne Cam is the window we would like to add in. And there it is. That's Camera 2 right there. It's basically taking this Dwayne Cam video footage that we have running through a separate software and adding that in as a window um, so now that we've created that we can actually come in here and add it as a display add new desktop so if you did create a new one here now that we've created it we have this extra one here add local desktop presenter zero shot that's the name of it and now we have camera 2 added in the quality is not quite as good um, because it's kind of blowing up a smaller image. I might be able to fix that somehow, maybe get the quality up, but I haven't found that out yet. Um, I wonder if we made this bigger, <laughs> if it would affect the quality at all. Um, but you, so now we have camera one, which is just added in as a camera input. And we have camera two added in as a window input. And then for my purposes of the podcast we're going to do, I've created a new local presenter. This isn't 
important for the video. I'm just kind of showing you how I set it up. And then I would select window again, and I would select my browser and click OK. And this will be another presenter we can add in would be, remember z this zero shot is the one we just created. One shot is the browser we created here. So now we have the browser um, created. So that's just my browser over here. So now we have, you know, camera one, camera two, and the browser. Um, hopefully I can find a way to hack around and get everything on one display, kind of like the uh, screen flow video I'm doing right now where everything's on one display, layers. Haven't figured out a hack <laughs> into layers, but at least we have multiple cameras. So thanks for watching, guys.